Hey everyone, Kevin Sully here to break down another race for you. And this week I chose the Cardinal Classic 5,000 meters. It's where Grant Fisher smashed a PR and invited a lot of his friends and competitors to do the same thing. Let's go now to the race and we pick it up here. Another beautiful evening in Palo Alto on the campus of Stanford University. And this is 1,300 meters remaining and the rabbit is about to step off. And in a race like this, you get 3,800 meters worth of work from the rabbit. That's pretty good. And Fisher takes over at this point. Now I want you to pay attention to the splits on the clock because afterwards Grant Fisher said the focus of this race was really to work on cutting the pace down lap by lap to simulate a championship setting. He knows at the NCAA championships, it's probably not gonna be fast from the gun, especially in the heat of Austin, Texas in June. So the goal here was to ratchet it down lap by lap by lap. So we'll see how successful he is in doing that. So 10.28 about on the clock with three laps to go. And that lap that we saw the end of there was about 64 seconds, give or take, and you're gonna see it pick up from there. Now let's get a check here on the rest of the field because we have some other big names in this race. So behind Fisher there, is Edwin Kurgat in second, and behind him is Cooper Tier. We'll talk more about Cooper Tier in a moment. Notice them perfectly in sync here. Now, you always notice Grant, Grant Fisher runs. He runs like a guy who's being photographed for a magazine, has the, the photogenic smile, the perfect form, but Kurgat kind of matching Fisher here. The leg angles are basically exactly the same. The arm carriage, if synchronized running becomes an Olympic sport, in 2024, I'm nominating these two gentlemen here. Let's keep it rolling here. You're gonna see some other top guys there. Now in fourth there for Colorado, that's Ryan Forsyth. Also back there, Aaron Templeton of Furman, Stephen Fahey of Stanford, and Thomas Ratcliffe of Stanford. It's gonna be a big day for Stanford. Now Cooper Tier, right here of Oregon in third. Now this is not that big of a gap, but at this late stage in the race, with this much distance behind him and in front of him, I mean, Cooper Tier is in the definition of no man's land. He is by himself here. That's an awfully tough gap to, to bridge. We'll see if he's able to do it, but he's in a tough spot at this point. You see now in that backpack there of four, that's Forsyth, Templeton, and then two members of Stanford's squad here. So Fisher not afraid to take on the pace here. He was not going to sit back and let Kurgot of Iowa State dictate things. And let's get our split here. So 11.29.3 on the clock. That means we're about at a 61.4, give or take, for Fisher that lap. So he went from 64 down to 61. We'll see where he goes next. Tier doing really well to try to bridge that gap. The group behind him making up ground ever so slightly, but Tier's gonna have a really good close here and just really impressed with how Fisher is taking on the pace here. We saw him at indoors this year at NCAAs uh, against Morgan McDonald. Morgan McDonald got the better of him with that kick. So he's trying to come up with some sort of recipe to get that 5,000 meter outdoor title back and maybe he's gonna follow this formula, you know, closing it down bit by bit by bit by bit. Now you can tell that Fisher's accelerating because this gap behind him has increased quite a bit from where this clip started. Everybody was kind of bunched in when the rabbit was still there and now it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and as we move forward, Kurgot's gonna then detach from Fisher and sort of join the chasers, not intentionally, but by virtue of how much Grant Fisher is accelerating and this is gonna be a very quick lap for him. Again, he's not waiting, he's not reacting he is really going for it. And there, I think, is the key moment when Fishers has broken away from Kurgot. And you can tell he's going in one direction and Edwin Kurgot is going in the other because now we have a clear break between the two gentlemen. 229.1 on the clock. I mean, 59.8. I guess you could round that up to, to 60 point. We don't have the official split here, but just eyeballing it, that is a very quick second lap. So his third to last lap and second to last lap go out to about a two flat 800. Remember that was preceded by a 64 or so. So let's see where he can close. 229 on the clock. Remember Grant Fisher's PR is 1330 despite all of his 
accolades. He's never really gotten in that crazy fast 5,000 meter race where he could really show his potential. So his PR is 1330 and I think it would really go to show how much more he can improve if he could PR in this race, a race where he's had to do so much leading in the back half, really going to his arms at this point and look how much the gap has increased. We got one, two, we got like three trees now between him and Edwin Kirkgott. And remember, Edwin Kirkgott's one of the best runners in the NCAA and Grant Fisher is putting it to him in these final two laps. Now, this isn't a guarantee that he's going to be able to beat Morgan McDonald. As we saw in indoors, Morgan McDonald is, is, is a different beast, but it has to be very, 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 very confidence inspiring for Fisher to be able to do this to someone as good as Kurgat, really just running away from him in the latter stages of the race. I mean, just one lap ago, these guys were shoulder to shoulder. Kurgat was latched on. You know, he was doing less work. If anybody should fall back, perhaps it should have been Fisher but he's really, really running aggressively. Now you can kind of see Fisher show some signs of fatigue here. And if there's a way to improve this, obviously, he'd, he'd want to be able to have that final little burst to close. Again, late April, maybe that's something that's going to be there in June. Things are getting interesting back here, though, because you got Cooper Tier charging. This is Thomas Ratcliffe of Stanford here. And Stephen Fahey of Stanford right there. Again, this is going to be a great night for Stanford. But all these guys have their eye on Kurgot as we enter the final 100 meters to go. Fisher there, you can see, tying up. Even when he slows down, he, he still looks good. But you can see he is slowing a bit here, which is why this last lap ended up being still a 60.4. So he wasn't able to drop it down from the previous lap. But, I mean, 61.4, 61, 59.8, and 60.4, so close to three flat, just over three flat for the final 1,200. That's an incredible last 1,200. Keep it rolling here. We'll see what happens here. Tier and Ratcliffe pass Kurgot, so Kurgot pays the price for sticking with Grant Fisher. The rest of the field comes across, and this is where... When we go and we look at these times, eventually you're going to see it was a great night for everybody. Everybody was able to take advantage of the good conditions, and everybody really was able to kind of I think, pull kind of off of Grant Fisher's move to, to kind of get some of that benefit, even though they weren't exactly on his shoulder. That move with three to go, you know, ensured this thing was going to be quick and, and kind of gave people somebody to chase. When Kerr got dropped back, that gave Cooper Tier and the other runners a target. You see it there, Tier. 13.32 in second, Ratcliffe in third. So Fisher gets his PR. He lowers his PR, you know, about one second. 13.30 down to 13.29, long overdue. So we'll get a look at these times here. So Grant Fisher, 13.29, it's a PR. Cooper Tier, 13.32, it's a PR. Ratcliffe, you get a PR. I feel like Oprah now, Edwin Kurgat, you get a PR. Fahey, that's a PR. Forsyth, PR. Templeton, P I mean, everybody, right? So the, those seven guys, they all go under 1340. They all got PRs. A great night for Stanford. So back uh, a little bit was Alec Parsons, who ran 1347. So all totaled, I'm going to delete this here. I need to write more about Stanford. They had four under 1348, which is huge. They all got personal best. Now, Ratcliffe, this was his first collegiate 5,000. So he's going to get a PR regardless, at least in, in a collegiate race. But 1332 is no joke. And four under 1348, incredible depth for the Cardinal. And then if you go into the next sec, the section section, Clayton Mendez, 1357. So that's another guy under 14 for the Cardinal. All totaled, they have seven who have broken 14 in the 5,000 this year. Five of them did it in this race. So incredible run for the Cardinal. And perhaps... A glimpse here at the strategy that Grant Fisher is going to use in about six weeks' time at the NCAA Championships. It'll fun to, be fun to see him ratchet down the pace against someone like Morgan McDonald. But all in all, a PR party that Grant Fisher threw at Stanford and everybody was invited.